Let's go back to the first and Nishimura. Mm -hmm. She had a good leader. Oh, I thought she could, she could have backed that up. It was going to have a chance of going in. How about those wedges in? A trio of greatness. I always find it interesting the colors used in putting because Adam Scott specifically really diving into the technique. Oh, what a putt. Hello. Ooh. Wow. That was worth the wait. Bombs away. I think she found Whoa. her range. Uh -oh. <laughs> and I would guess probably no more than uh, 15 on. It's almost like you want to land it into that little upslope. Take some off of it. Like kind of right there. Yep. Keep chasing. Keep chasing. Keep chasing. Wow, what a shot. You know. To Grace Kim. 58 yards here for Grace for her third. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Ooh. It's from the leaders here, Nasahata Oka, who is at 21 under, sharing the lead to start, and this at the first. That's her third time with the lead entering the final round. What a great way to take advantage. As we go up to the tee at eight, and Grace Kim at the short par three. I think that's called the easy adulting. We'll have to check back into her oh. when she has a toilet problem or something. <laughs> back at the seventh, just off the green. Yeah. Yeah. Walk and talks equal birdies. Little backstop. Just past this pin for the players. He stares this one down. And up to 10 really fast for Jasmine Sawanapura's second. This whole location is on the opposite side of the hole where it's been the last couple days and, and definitely not much trouble. You're trying to close it out. Birdie to get it to 23 under at the fifth. The second toughest hole today, making it look easy. Another one putt. Up ahead, 13. Second shot for Jasmine Sawanapura. 114, this pin in front. Nice. And the crowd likes it. They should. It's one of the most difficult holes on the golf course. Today it's playing a lot easier, but we didn't think it was playing this easy. Right on the money from Yu Lu. And she would then birdie 10 and 11 and added that birdie at 15. Uh, Yuna Nishimura for birdie at 12. Tracking or what? Juno definitely had the best opportunity for birdie. Because her putt was just. I hope I get to go back one day. Oh, there's a nice roll from Sawanapura. You're old out of UCLA in the mix, and Amy Yang. T at the eighth, par three. A slow start, bogey the third, but birdie on seven, and then this beauty here on eight. Get up to 22 under. Jasmine Sawanapura now at 15. Wow, awesome shot. When I mean, we talk about her birdie making, I mean, just never off the gas. I mean, she is just gunning, and it's gonna be. 
quick from back there, as is this putt for Charlie Hull at 16. She barked at it early to sit, and it listened. Awesome putt. A little lighter in the wind today than it was yesterday. Lily Vu is going to wrap up Rolex Player of the Year Award. Four straight birdies, and Paige now this at 10. Yeah, just a difficult putt, even though it was short distance. Birdies at six, seven, eight, nine, the par there. So she's at 18 under, five off the lead of Hataoka. You know, so she, this is very fresh in her mind as to how she feels, what she's, what she's doing when she's on the golf course in this situation. It was this club that let her down a little bit last Sunday. Yeah, two events in Florida to end the season for the LPGA Tour. We were in Bel Air, Florida, in the Tampa area last week for the Annika. Slowly plotting her way with that back nine there for the taking. Out to the 11. Second shot for Lilia Vu. The bag today all the way in the back. Kind of brings that penalty area into play. Yesterday, we didn't think the water would be in play, and we saw a couple of players knock it in there. She's really had a tremendous week. Got off to a rough start. Two fabulous rounds the last two days. Don't know exactly what she wants today, but that'll help. Here at 12, Ataya Titikun just to get it to 17 under. As she looks like she's going to close out the Bear Trophy win. Low scoring average for the season. Just tremendous consistency from Ataya this year. And Alison Lee has already played her approach shot. And does and it's beyond the hole. This from the upslope for Amy. From 106. You plan on being right of that hole location? <laughs> you do not, but that is if you end up there. Karen, she talked about how good she felt about her swing coming into today, but she's missed half of her greens so far on a golf course playing nearly three strokes under par. When you're putting like this, though. That was another wonderful effort. But because she is, this one is back uphill. There you go. So the 23 under. A little bit closer to Amy and Nasa. Yeah, she felt like she putted well yesterday. Just the same putts that were going in the first couple of days. Lived out, didn't quite go her way bit through the shadow slightly down the hill but shouldn't be very much in this putt okay so the lead at 23 under Lily Vu on the way for birdie hill moving left to right and she's been close a couple of misses 26 year old went to UCLA did not have success right away but boy has she had some success this year she really struggled, lost her card her rookie year. On to the green on that right side. It's a seven on, Nasa. She started it pretty, pretty right at it. Maybe a smidge left. Oh yeah, go in. Good what shot. a shot that is. That's just making the task more difficult for those players chasing. She's one yard less, also using a seven on. And I'll say that Amy hasn't shied away from a shot yet today. And this one's going at it as well. You can tell by a bit of her lean that wasn't quite her intended <laughs> target, but she's gonna again putting up the hill. Hataoka just gonna tap this one in to take the solo lead at 24 under par. The record for the LPGA is 31 under par. That was Se Young Kim. Be able to quiet her mind, stay really in the present. I think seeing Nasa right in front of her frees her up to be a little more aggressive. They can't leave that one short though. 34 years of age, Amy Yang. She uh, burst onto the scene winning an event when she was 16 years of age. Yeah, right in the heart there. The Allison Lee stays within three. They are chasing Nasa Hataoka. This is Lilia Vu, the 13th. This is her third shot, Paige. Yeah, drove it into the waist area off of the tee, then caught it heavy on the approach, and that was also a forgettable approach. Lilia Vu for a par. I thank Terry and all the folks at CME Group for what they do. And that was in the heart, but it's going to be short. 
The work that CME has done over the years here, I think, has elevated across the LPGA Tour and pushed other sponsors to uh, raise their purses. And it's, uh, it's had a, a big effect. It's almost like you need to write down every single little thing, how far away it is, every single little thing. Mm. And when she misses, it looks like that. Speed. In the moment of what she's doing. Really good looking stroke there. Yeah, she's a couple short, what, the one at 9, 11, and then here at 12. That one short in the heart. Green's running about 12 on the stimp meter. 94 yards. I think this whole location is one place can get fairly close to Tom. Allison's already played hers and gone a little bit past the hole. Good look at Birdie. I would expect her to be aggressive with this one. Take dead aim, land it just past the flag stick and spin it back a fraction. Oh, 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 right, right in, and she's done it. What a moment for Amy Yang in the final round here, chasing that $2 million first prize, and she holds out at 13 to jump to the top of the leaderboard at 25 under par. For Lily Avu. Only 73 yards. Good angle coming in this hole, but not taking advantage of this had it just left. Yeah, much longer for her to try than she would have hoped. This one is back uphill. It was always, we had such a good angle there. It was always looking like it was going to wander to the to the right. There's a slope on the left. Birdie try Lily Vu. Very subtle downhill double breaker is what I see. There's a little ridge in this green that you have to carry over, and then it's all downhill towards the hole. It's from 112. Green is a bit off the left. Good shot. And, and how about the confidence? I mean, you walk up there, the way she's putting right now, thinking, if I get anywhere close, I'm going to make it. Everyone walking behind this flag as well. We really need to dial in her focus here. Two at the ninth earlier today, and the good golf just continues from that moment on. She goes to six under par for the round. Started working with Chris Cho around the time of the U.S. Open, middle of this year. It felt like her putting stats were really poor and needed to do something, and, and that's one of the biggest differences we've seen in her game is her ability to make. She also has an eight iron. Very still, if there's any breeze, it's coming off the left shoulder. Right at it. A two tee start today, three balls off two tees. So players are finishing up at the ninth, and Heidan Yu trying to finish her LPGA season with a birdie. Jenny Shin's caddy getting in the right way there. What a It went in, though. <laughs> Great year for Heidan Yu. Do it. Amy has not been shying away from taking dead aim. No, she really hasn't, and this is just another example of it, Morgan. Yeah, right on. Good chance for a birdie. She found herself on the little upslope, Tom, so she can send this one high in the air on 143. In this angle, there might be a little bit of help from the left, wind-wise. Oh, yeah, that's impressive. That's what you needed. Take you up to 18. Moment ago, Anna Nordquist, her third with putter from off the green. The best in the world at this shot right here. A 
opened up with a 65 play great on day one. Tough day today, but four under. This distance. If there's wind, it's helping. She's aimed a lot to the right here, almost to the TV tower. Drawing? It's trying to draw. It's got the right edge. Oh, yeah. Nice kick there as well. That'll go towards the flag. Is it going to stay up? The slope brings it back towards the front of the green. Statistics for the week. It's so good with this club. Yeah, she has less putts than anybody by 10 putts so far. I mean, that's that's how dramatic it is. Now Megan, downhill, breaking to her right. Welcome. Second shot into nine and for Allison Corpus. We've seen all types oh. of oh. Oh. Iron, oh. irons, woods, hybrids into this hole. With her approach, wrapping up that fair trophy. When she was asked earlier this week if she knew what she mathematically needed to do to win, she said, no, I failed math in school. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to win. We, we can tell her that. On the right side of the green. Don't have to worry about that front bunker. It's playing under par today. Only nine birdies. Until right now. Now, the tee, you got that water left. Shouldn't be a problem. And then the bunker, they normally have to worry about soft conditions. there she knows she really doesn't have anything to lose at this point beautifully balanced golf swing one early in Thailand to get things started wasn't at all done then two major championships four victories on the year still gonna have to elevate this quite high and land it over the top of that little ridge that runs through this green. What a shot. What Terrific. A shot. Wow. Lipped it out. Kind of sitting diagonally to her, so it's going to kick it left when it hits the green. And then once it gets over that ridge, it's going to release to the hole. It's got to sit soft. Okay. Amy Yang has got that short putt to get to 26 under par. Allison to get it to 24 under. Got to get it to chase up that hill. It's a lower risk shot, but harder to judge perfectly. That's not a bad effort at all from there. She's talked a lot about quieting her mind, Karen. This is a moment right here. Block out everything else. Oh, it's looking good, Morgan. Oh, what a way to approach the 18th. I'm sure she has felt the pressure. It's hard to pick up on that. This is well struck. Good approach. Great golf lately, Allison Lee, and she said it, it's proven to herself that she's got the game. You know, by the way, we talked about the two million for the winner. Finish in style, the last event of the season goes to Amy Yang. I think the champagne was opened up before the pot. That's quite the champagne shower right there, but does she ever deserve it? What an exclamation there really is some pretty good champagne right there. You can hear the bottles opening up before the putt. 